I feel like with the art, I mean, there's so much. I mean, I've had the experience, I walk into a museum sometimes and just bawl because something hits me in such a deep way. And so the power of art to be able to evoke emotion like that is, is strong. And if you are not comfortable in your own skin with your emotions, then, you know, art that triggers you on that level might be threatening. If you are familiar with your strong emotions, you don't have to fear them because you just allow them to arise and then, you know, watch the dance. About three weeks before my 50th birthday, I happened to discover this man in Crestone who teaches this type of art, encaustic wax paint, painting. And um, I had been amassing the materials to make this for about 10 years, but I didn't know what to do with them. And I have no idea why I was amassing them. I have no idea how I'd heard of it or how I even knew it existed. And then when I was at that crucial point in my life, having just sort of gone through a life change and not sure what I was going to do next, I found this man, um, my friend Ish, in Crestone. And um, yeah, so I learned it from him and then I've, I discovered, he paints mostly, and then I discovered a woman in Santa Fe called Paula Rowland, who really just helped me dive into the process of encaustic monotypes. She really is sort of a pioneer in that art form. And so I would go down to uh, Santa Fe, you know, two or three times a year to study with her for a, a span of a couple of years. And I still hope to study with her again. Every time I look out my window or walk out my door, there's just this view that is um, bigger than you can actually fathom. And your brain has a hard time fathoming the space because the mountains are so high and the valley is so wide and there's nothing in it. It's all just uh, mountains and brush and um, cactus and, uh, and coyotes. And uh, when I take my walks in the afternoon, right as the sun sets, the, um, there's this phenomena in the Sangre de Cristos, which is why they're called the Sangre de Cristos, Blood of Christ. Um, the mountains turn red, um, apparently because of the iron ore inside of the mountains. But there's a period um, at sunset that lasts maybe only four minutes. It's really quick. And if you catch it, you go outside and the entire landscape is bathed in this um, golden red color. And especially like if, it's, if there's snow on the mountains or snow on the ground, it is, it's spectacular. And it just kind of, it's like one of those moments, you know, one of those God moments where you like the skies open up and you see, you know, the rainbow coming down or whatever. It's one of those moments where you just feel the presence of something greater than you. Oh. I, I sort of like this unfinished bit here. This is how I make these things. I never know what's going to happen. I just sort of show up and do a few things mm -hmm. and then incorporate what I like and erase what I don't. My name is Kim Roberts. This is what I love to do. 